exile in the country Sometimes I live in the town Sometimes I have a great notion Hey, you jump in the river and So quit your rambling Okay, today I'm going to run you through um, the Goodnight Irene uh, arrangement very closely based on what Kelly Joe Phelps does with the song on his album Shine Eyed Mr. Zen. Uh, and if you don't have that album and you're into slide playing, then you need to get it because it's got some fantastic playing on there and some amazing arrangements of some traditional songs and some of his original songs as well. Um, but this Goodnight Irene is a good one for, for getting onto the to the lap slide guitar. Um, and there's quite a lot going on with what he's doing with the, with the song. Um, but I sort of run through some of the basic stuff that's happening with it today. And hopefully you can start to get the hang of doing some of the techniques that are involved. The whole thing is like a sort of waltz thing. It's in 3-4 so, um, for something like the verse. see that the thumb is keeping doing this 3-4 motion through this. In essence it's a three chord trick, good night Irene, in that the one chord this open open chord in this case it would be F because I've got a cap on the third fret but we'll think of it as being you know just the one chord which is the home key um, it's easier to think in numbers in turn, instead of notes really when you're doing this sort of thing so that's number one um, and the basic pattern going on is one to five that's the five chord and here it's the fret ten four, five, one, back to four, one, one, four, one, five, one, one, for the verse. Sometimes I live in the country five and sometimes I live in the town so that's a yeah, same pattern. Sometimes I have a great notion hey, to jump in the river and drown. And 
that's um, a kind of very basic version of what's going on across the whole of the tune. Um, because it's so simple, one, four, five, one, four, five, one, five, four, one, um, it does lend itself well for improvisation and changing it around. And that's exactly what Kelly Joe Phelps has done with this song. Um, and he's done that from a, a knowledge of the chords and a knowledge of patterns that are going to work. Um, and just from from playing around with it over a lot of a lot of time, I guess, um, and to get to grips with adding in new stuff to it, you kind of need to learn the rest of the chords from a key. So we'll do that now. Okay, so we're in this open D tuning. And that's the one chord. I've got the capo on just to put it in the key of F. We'll think of it as being just the one chord. So our chord palette for this key: one, two. Two can be either this suspended kind of chord. Or indeed a major, which gives that kind of ragtime feel. Because in a regular major key, that would be a minor chord, the two chord. But in this slide tuning, I can't play a minor chord. It would be really hard. I'd have to play the minor third there. Almost impossible. So I wouldn't. So I'd just play it as a major. And it sort of lifts the, the tune when you get to that point. I'll show you a bit in a minute. But anyway, that's the two chord. Three major as well. Uh, four. Five. Now, the sixth chord, when it comes to the sixth chord, that has to be minor. So there's a couple of ways of, ways of playing that. There's a five. Fret 12, just cover the first three. Or fret 2 on the A string. Same difference. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You don't really, you just play it as a note. You can't really play the minor 7 flat 5 chord. And then back to the top. Okay, so that's our chord palette. Okay, so you've got your chord palette now. I'm going to go into a verse and just show you how some of these things can add some colour to the performance of the song. So we'll go into the first verse. Sometimes I live in the country Hey, sometimes I live in the town So have a look at what's going on there. First of all, we've got an extra bass note. Sometimes I live in the which is just the second fret on the A string. Sometimes I live in the country. Up to the five chord, this time make it a sus chord. So just cover the first four strings. And then two, four, one. Or sometimes I live in the town. Up to four. Okay, so the first part, a part of a verse. I mean, that could be any of the verses, um, or any of the choruses, really, but it just adds a bit of colour. Uh, next, we're going to put in this uh, sort of chromatic run that he does. And sometimes I have a grey. So for the third fret, makes it a dominant chord. Notion, four chord. Need a jump. Five chord. In the river and round. So drop down to four and then slide up to five. You quit your rambling. Quit your gambling. Four, uh, two. So a couple of things going on there. These two strings are obviously the same note, octave apart. So when I put in that dominant, the third fret, on the, on the one chord, you can do that on the, on the, on the uh, second string, the B string, just as well. And it always leads itself either into that chromatic run, some, some, uh, was it? Sometimes I have a the rain Vibe, or you can go straight to the four chord. Sometimes I have a jump in river and yeah, there's, there's no hard and fast rule, but once you know where these various little things are, you can start to add them in, it adds a little colour. Right, okay, well, the thing would be nice to do as well is to go through the intro uh, and the outro, kind of in a note for note way, so as you can get the 
like if you, you can learn a lot from learning something exactly how it was played by the original artist and then transforming it or putting it in how you want um, but it's good to know how it was originally um, so if we start off with this nice slide up to the major third if I play it through it's nice and slow so you can see the frets on the video 